Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, you'd all be familiar with the Victron tank display here. And up until now, Victron have used uh, resistance type sensors. This is just one example. But with their new product, which is the GX Tank 140 that you can see here, we can now add in voltage based sensors. And I've got on the table here four different voltage based sensors that are used primarily for tanks, although this one's for LPG. And using this new Tank 140 here, we can go straight into the Chervo. We'll have a look at it. Got on here a USB extension cable. So this is currently 12 meters away from the Chervo. This display will be uh, released in the next uh, software update. Now let's have a look at a couple of these sensors. So this one here, which is for the um, LPG bottle, is uh, an ultrasonic underneath, but it's got a magnetic ring that we've embedded a rare earth magnet that's, and that comes up underneath the bottle and we have to go through another pre-processor here that converts the signal out of here into the 0 to 5 volt. So that's the LPG tank sender. This is the ultrasonic um, under tank sender. That works well with any tank that has no other skin. There can't be anything between this and the outside bottom of the tank. So it can be polypropylene, it can be polyurethane, it can be a metal tank of some description, and it just comes up underneath. The gel that you see here is what we use to do a test on, and when it's testing this light flashes, so we've got the software set that it flashes. Uh, these are alloy, the little moat here is when you finally glue it on, the glue goes into the moat. And then if we have a look at, uh, this is a, very high quality for fuel, for a long range fuel tank or diesel fuel, and also for water. It screws into the bottom side of the tank, preferably, although it can go into a T piece and be inserted in the vertical position. And it's a differential pressure. So it's measuring this side, the weight of the water and the air, and this side, it's taking off the air. And the differential pressure is actually in this small tube here that you see, so it's not crushed, there's some foam in there. And so that's a differential pressure level transmitter. And this one here that you can see is a more compact version. The differential pressure is in the back of the gland here. So if you drive through a water crossing and park in the middle of it, this will destroy this unit because the water will come in through the back. Whereas this one here won't because the differential pressure is up through the tube. So these are a MEMS chip that are bonded in there in both case, all digital. And here we can see is there's our extended cable that we've got on the USB on this, and it is a high quality uh, extension. That's a 10 meter extension that we've got there working perfectly fine. So this can be in the RV or the boat, uh, 10 to 12 meters away from the turbo, and all these wires from the tanks just have to run locally to that held. Now these come in here, and these two here are at 24 volts, all powered off the USB, very, very slick. And our sensors here are at 24 volts, so you don't need any other power. You just connect these sensors straight in here and uh, it's all powered off the turbo, no other power supply. These here are currently running at 12 volts. And so what we have to do there is that we come in on this side and we're running a little 12 volt power supply here. Uh, then, then we come to the display and on the display, soon to be announced is going to be an overview that takes up all the tanks. But you can see here that what we've got here is the fuel afresh. And now we're gonna show you this ultrasonic on how it works. We've got here, this is for ex just an example, our ultrasonic under tank sender. This is to represent the water tank. And when I put that on top of that, then what you'll see here is the fresh water tank here is starting to move in percentages. So we're at four, five, six, and these tanks can have irregular shapes. We can adjust that. Dampening effect, the speed of change here can also be adjusted as well. So in the range I've got there now, that's saying that tank is 11% full and you can calibrate the high end and the low end and have that appear on one display. This display will be uh, released in the next uh, software update. So four tanks coming in, all on voltage uh, and all coming in through the GX tank uh, 140. How good's that?